Today's video is about a brilliant mathematician and astronomer whose achievements paved the way for the development of a wide range of scientific fields such as algebra, numerical systems, geography and astronomy. With his major works, he introduced Hindu-Arabic numerals and the concepts of algebra to European mathematics. The Latinized version of his name was used to refer to the concepts of algorithm and algebra. We are speaking about Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. Al-Khwarizmi was born in the Persian city of Khwarizm, present-day Uzbekistan, around the year 780. Little is known about his early life. He lived in Baghdad where he worked at the House of Wisdom, Dar al-Hikmah, under the Caliphate of al-Mamun. The House of Wisdom acquired and translated scientific and philosophic treatises, particularly Greek, as well as publishing original research. Based on al-Khwarizmi's work on elementary algebra, he wrote the book titled Al-Khattab al-Muqtasar fi Hasab al-Jab wal Mukabah, which means the comprehensive book on computation by completion and balancing. This book was translated into Latin in the 12th century and thus the term, algebra, was born. In the 12th century, another important work was delivered by al-Khwarizmi. He introduced Hindu-Arabic numerals and their arithmetic to the world. The Latin translation of this work is entitled, Algorithmi de Numero Indorum, which means, al khwarizmi concerning the Hindu art of reckoning. Later, the term, algorithm, was derived from the Latin rendering of the author's name, Algorithmi. al khwarizmis third major book, Kitab Surat al-Art, which means, the image of the earth, commonly known as geography, contained coordinates for various places in the known world. Although it was based on Ptolemy geography, al khwarizmi improved the values for the length of the Mediterranean Sea and the location of cities in Asia and Africa. In addition, al khwarizmi compiled a series of astronomical tables called Zij, that contained knowledge from Hindu and Greek sources. Among these tables was a sign table designed for a circle with a radius of 150 units. Unfortunately, Details about al khwarizmis later life are sparse. It is believed that he died around 850, leaving a remarkable legacy that would shape the course of mathematical and scientific research for centuries. al khwarizmis countless achievements had secured him a place as a key figure during the Islamic Golden Age. al khwarizmis genius and contributions to mathematics and science cannot be overstated. His development of algebra and the decimal numeral system laid the foundation for countless advancements in mathematics, engineering, and technology. If you find this video informative, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating historical content. This is the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you next time.